Today we've got prosthetics, 3D buildings, carbon making dental aligners, support free FDM printing, and the Smithsonian letting you download and print their artifacts. All right now, right here on Vision Miner 3D Printing News, let's get into it. Starting out, we've got the Dutch Navy investing in Intamps' 3D printers for on-demand spare parts. Here at Vision Miner, we've been selling Intamps' printers for almost four years, and we're the only USA-based support, having seen just about everything on the machines. We're the only place that quality checks them before actually shipping them out. Anyway, the Dutch Navy obviously trusts them enough to use the new Pro 410 in their latest development, AMCOD, or AMCOD, a mobile repair center inside of a shipping container. They're using it to print many different components, varying from high quality engine parts to covers for the shower drain, from protective covers for rockets to weed filters for cold water makers. Uh, in environments where temperatures can rise sharply or in applications where the part is subject to heavier mechanical stress, it requires 3D printing advanced polymers such as polycarbonate, peak, PEC, ultim, and nylon, often filled with carbon fiber. That's specifically what they're using the Intamps' fun mat printers for. Now, fun mat actually means functional materials, by the way, just in case you were confused by the name. They chose Intamps' also because of their open material system, so you can print any roll of filament that you have on hand, as well as being specialized in high temp functional materials. Very, very cool. Next, we've got 3D printed homes and buildings. Now, you've seen these around, but what's the real potential of 3D printed houses? There's actually a few reasons that all 3DP thinks they're going to change the face of construction entirely. Let's go through the list real quick. We've got faster construction. Uh, a 350 square foot house in Texas took Icon around 47 hours to print, which they say is about a 40% reduction over standard buildings. Next, we've got reduced labor, with a giant robot doing most of the heavy lifting uh, and smaller crews to operate those robots. This does make a lot of sense. Third, we've got lower costs. And aside from the equipment itself, the overall material cost, reduced labor, and speed all factor into lowering the costs. Number four, you've got unique buildings. You can do shapes and geometries and features that weren't necessarily even possible before. Number five, we've got higher material efficiency. In terms of energy and material usage, there's not a whole bunch of cut off scrap from the building materials. They can also use recycled materials and potentially design insulation barriers into the building themselves. Number six, we've got situational applicability. You know, someplace it just makes more sense to print and others not. Uh, number seven, you've got major, major investments that have been going into construction 3D printing for a long time now. And number eight, we've got the global interest. It's happening and it's being talked about all over the world. And on that note, you can now actually buy your own 3D printed house for $300,000, which is apparently half the price of surrounding neighborhoods in Riverhead, New York. The 3D printed home out there will feature over 1,400 square feet of living space plus a 750 square foot two and a half car garage on a quarter acre. Now this home includes three bedrooms, two full bathrooms, and features an open floor plan. Built with concrete, it delivers strength and durability that conventional wood frame constructions just can't match. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, please let us know by hitting that like button. Plus, it helps YouTube show this content to more people organically, and we really, really appreciate it. Also, by the way, apparently 83% of you watching this video right now aren't actually subscribed. Why not? Go ahead and hit that subscription and notification bell to see when all our new material videos come out. We got some really fun, cool, interesting videos on all the different materials that we sell coming out over the next few weeks. Moving right along into prosthetics. The prosthetic world has come a long way with 3D printing just over the last few years. We've actually worked with some very innovative companies like Shabri, and it's great to see what they're doing. Now, prosthetics can cost anywhere from $5,000 to upwards of $50,000, becoming even more expensive when they're custom fit, making the production slow and very costly. Now, this is where 3D printing has proven to be an excellent alternative for manufacturing prosthetics. Now, once again, the guys over at All3DP have put together a great list, so let's check out what's in there. We've got legs, leg covers, free downloadable leg prosthetics complete with sockets. We got feet, arms, kids' arms made with superhero designs like Iron Man, Star Wars, and Frozen. We've got hands, exoskeletons like braces, and even fingers and knees, and facial prostheses made with a cell phone scanner. 
Anyway, there's a lot to be seen in the prosthetics market for 3D printing, so be sure to check out these companies and projects to learn more. We've got Bionic, Enable, Limitless, Jayco Orthopedic, Unlimited, Open Bionics, Upya, Exonio, and of course, you can find a link to that list in the description below. Meanwhile, in the medical sector, we've got Carbon 3D working with Candid to 3D print totally clear, 100% custom dental aligners. Phil D. Simone, the Chief Product and Business Development Officer over at Carbon states, we are proud to partner with Candid to enable them to deliver the best fitting aligners on the market at scale, enabling clinicians to deliver affordable and effective treatment for patients. DeSimone adds, Carbon's L1 production system will enable Candid to efficiently and reliably produce millions of highly accurate aligner models and deliver bespoke solutions for each patient at scale. In recent years, Carbon hasn't held back on its industry partnerships at all, taking its DLS 3D printing technology into the realm of household brands. Back in October, the company partnered with sportswear giant Adidas to 3D print parts for the Futurecraft Strung running shoes. The sneakers characteristic Futurecraft insoles are printed using DLS, which allows them to be modeled to the exact contours of an individual runner's foot. Elsewhere, the company has recently partnered with sports goods manufacturer CCM Hockey to 3D print the world's first NHL certified hockey helmet liner. Named the Super Tax X with Nest, or Next Evolution Sense technology, the helmet features a digitally printed lattice structure on the inner lining and is intended to deliver better breathability, comfort, and protection. Next, we've got support-free FDM printing coming to a hobby store near you, or maybe. Uh, there's a new company that reimagined non-planar 3D printing along with multi-axis FDM. Instead of using a robot arm though, the head is actually angled at 45 degrees and has a swivel motion. Very ingenious, and this allows for many geometries to print with absolutely no support where previously lots of support material was needed. Now we've seen the 45 degree angle on the new belt style FDM printers, but adding that swivel really makes a big difference. They call their system the Ropebot, and their head of the research engineering over there uh, via Google Translate said, our Ropebot 3D printer is able to print any structure without support material. This means that firstly, we need less material, and secondly, the printing times are shorter, and thirdly, post-processing, or the removal of support, is completely eliminated. Think about it, guys. We're still literally in the Wild West, in the early stages of industrial and consumer 3D printing, and if there's any time to get into the business with stuff like this coming out, that time is now in whatever way you can. In some other news, the Smithsonian has released thousands of 3D scanned artifacts for you to download and print. Now, with less than 1% of their collection being displayed at any given time, they were looking for a way to showcase more than 155 million objects and specimens, volumes, and archives. Now, as part of the project, uh, the 3D program was formed. So their 3D portal currently has 2,544 scans up with 2,346 labeled with CCO. Now, this includes in important historical artifacts like the Apollo 11 command module, the Triceratops, Horridus Marsh, a mammoth, Abraham Lincoln's bust, and many more. Now, while most of the collection comes from the Smithsonian Natural Museum of History's Vertebrae Zoology Mammals Division, uh, you can actually find artifacts from the National Air and Space Museum, the American Art Museum, the National Museum of African American History, and culture, among others. And we've also got a new report that just came out from HP, showing that there is significantly increased interest in 3D printing globally. Another reason to get in the game right now. Check out the link in the description for that one. We're going to follow that up with another real world example. We've got Naples A&M trolley buses implementing on-demand 3D printed spare parts in 3D printed metal. Now each trolley out there is connected to the power supply cable lines via a trolley head, which basically takes the current, mechanically guides the rods, which are fixed on the bus's roofs. Now without a functional trolley head, the bus can't operate at all. 
all. Now, since there's no more spare trolley heads available on the market and the lead times are over 12 months with traditional manufacturing methods, they turn to an SLM 500 machine with four lasers to 3D print new aluminum parts. And they also used the Fortis F900 FDM system from Stratasys for the plastic parts, which they made in Ultim 1010. Well, what can I say? They could have saved a ton of money with our open material Ultim 9085 systems. All we do is high temp and stuff like that over here at Vision Miner. So make sure you like this video and subscribe for all the material videos we got coming out. It's super awesome right now. Every other day we're releasing videos. It's really, really good. Anyway, we specialize in high temp materials like Ultim Pec, carbon fiber nylon, and more. We've got all the tools, supplies, machines, and materials in stock right here in the USA with an American team to help support you. So hit us up if you need anything like that. Thanks for watching. Have a positive rest of your day, and I'll see you on the next video.